So, here we are with a pretty perfect hand, I think. So, we will not mulligan. Very happy about this. The one and the two and the two four drops. So, yeah, let's do it. Methinks this thrill shall do its duty. He's red, so he's probably pretty fast. Or not? No two drop in Boros. What sorcery is this? So we'll run in with our thrall. Go tickle his funny bone. Tee hee hee, Mr. Irrelevant. Dot dot dot. I hope you enjoyed that. And out comes the Syndic of Tithes. Playing the Boros Key Room, the shiny edition. Not too worried. About the Key Room, that is. The fact that he's Boros is a little worrisome. However, as overpowered as Boros is in sealed, it's on pretty equal footing in draft, I believe. So... What? This guy just doesn't have anything, really? All right, works for me. I guess we'll run out the Alms Beast. Yep. Or maybe we'll just Executioner swing that for some funsies. Yeah, why not? And then Extort? That sounds pretty good. Oh. Yeah, 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 oops. Do your first damage first. Thank you. Double strike. Oh, all right. Okay. That's okay, too. Glad to get that out of the way. Um, beast it is. What now, fancy man? What now? So yeah, the life gain that he'll be getting from blocking the Alms Beast is almost irrelevant, especially since he didn't have a good start. I do feel like he probably has some removal, but so be it. Another smite, perhaps? Mm hmm. Smite me, friend. No, I guess not. I guess not. I think we'll run out the Knight of Obligation just so we have two extorts available in the future. Or one extort, I guess. This is not the extort thrall. Silly plastic cactus. Alas. But again, let him play all that removal while I keep playing threats, and uh, I won't complain. Cool. So. Now we can play the Guardian of the Gateless and extort. A fine time indeed. I will always yield to you. Do your worst and I shall block it. Oh, look who finally decided to play something. So. Let's fly over his head and drop another flyer. I don't feel like we really need to uh, leave the Executioner swing up at this point. So, yeah, that's the way to do it. Dude. 
sure. No problem. The Ember Beast. So can we win right now? No, we need another turn. No, we, we need another turn. We're, we're uh, one minute short from being able to extort for both of these cards. I would have had no problem executioner swinging my own guy if it meant I could extort for the final piece of the puzzle. Yep, and that's the end of that. What, pray tell, does the next round bring? So, we really didn't see much of anything from this guy, so it's hard to gauge what should be sideboarded in. There's an argument for Shadow Slice, I suppose, but what would we even cut for that? I couldn't tell you. I guess the Corpse Blockade, but that'll trigger Extort better than the Shadow Slice ever would. I don't know. I think I think for now we keep it the way it is, but I will remember that cutting Corpse Blockade for Shadow Slice is a possibility. Yeah, away we go. This is the opposite of last round's hand. Just awful. You need to mulligan. This isn't the best I've ever seen, but it's got all the mana I require, and it has two early-ish drops, so... We'll do it. Hopefully he won't have a more aggressive start this time around. But if he does, at least we've got the Executioner's Swing to take care of anything completely terrible. No, again, he is a Boros player that is not really aggressive whatsoever. Jeez Louise, irrelevant. Your whole deck is irrelevant. Out comes the Kingpin's Pet. Well, I think we play the Corpse Blockade. Or, <laughs> you know what? No, we hilariously play the Dutiful Thrall. To, tr to destroy the Scorchwalker when it attacks. And we can regenerate twice, motherfucker. We can regenerate twice. Really? You're going to waste Angelic Edict on the Dutiful Thrall? By all means, hit me for five, if that's what you're going to do. That seemed like a pretty poor decision. But, who knows? Maybe it wasn't. I don't know really much about this whole relevant fellow. So, we'll play the Alms Beast. And, I think we block. Nah, you know what, maybe we don't. If he just jumps in, we probably don't block. It's better off to hit him for six than for us to get blood rushed to death or something. If he stays back, chances are he has uh, the, uh, he has smite or something of the like. Oh, maybe not. Debtor's Pulpit. That's a pretty good card, buddy. Okay, so we attack with both. Let him gain the five life if he wishes. He's thinking about it. You can do it. Just do it. Who cares? You want five life? Yes, you do. Not a problem. Now, we can play the Knob Squad Commandos. Otherwise, we were going to have to play the Corpse Blockade. So, this mana is going to be... Really? Another one. Golly Gee Whiz. Uh, okay. We will play the Corpse Blockade and then attack with the Kingpin's Pet. 
Yes. Not a problem, friend. Not a problem. We will happily trade the corpse blockade for that Scorch Walker if he attacks. I believe. I guess it depends what he plays. Ooh, Sky Knight Legionnaire. Okay. I think we have to kill and glare the Sky Knight Legionnaire so we can get in. Oops. to play the Assault Griffin, but yeah, he would have happily traded his Sky Knight for the Kingpin's pet. And this guy's done so much damage already. Oh, Assault Griffin, you son of a bitch. So, do we offer the trade? I don't think we do yet. Not quite yet. Especially now that we have two extorters. I mean, he's not going to attack with it. No way, man. No way. Exactly. Yeah, I think we just continue to extort. Extort his life away. How is this not always yet? Uh, he wants to gain some life, and we're not going to let him do it. I mean, he's dead in, what, like, two turns? Okay, you want to actually get in? That's cool with me. Bring me down to 20, friend. That's probably a mistake, because now you're dead. Uh-oh. Massive raid. It's pretty good, pretty good, but we have an Assault Griffin. About to be online. Yeah, we'll do the Assault Griffin on the off chance we get a mana next turn and can extort at least one time. Um, yeah, we're... Okay, so if, if I attacked with all three, he would... Yeah. Okay. He really wants me to attack with that alms piece now. He kind of needs me to. But we're not going to do it. I mean, I, I would win the race either way if I did it at this point, but I'm, there, it, much, I'm much more likely to just win next turn, I believe, if I do not attack with it. Mm-hmm. Um... You know, I think I do just attack right now. Force him to trade most of his guys. Yeah, he'd, he'd have to get rid of two of his guys for my Syndic of Tithes. And that's fine. Smog Elemental will take care of business next turn. Yeah. 
Yes, sirree. Looks good. Oh, smite. Not a huge issue. Though I probably should have played him first. Didn't count on the old smite there. Nice. It's a pretty good card. But I will happily have him smack me for six. So now he's going to need removal for two of my dudes. So, you know, this would have just won me the game if I, uh, if I didn't attack there the last turn. But you know what? Fine. Didn't make that much of a difference. And that's the end of that. On to the next match.